Sweet Land of Liberty by Callista Gingrich, illustrated by Susan Arciero. To American patriots, young and old, who make America a special nation. Ellis the Elephant was a smart little guy with a curly gray trunk and a twinkling eye. He liked asking questions. He was eager to see how America became the land of the free. Ellis went to the library, an amazing place, and looked at the books with a grin on his face. These books hold the secret. I'm sure, I'm sure it is true. Why America is special, full of red, white, and blue. In the first book, he read how America began. Brave pilgrims came here to find a new land. With the help of God, they survived cold and beast and celebrated together with a Thanksgiving feast. As the years went on, more and more settlers came. They formed 13 colonies, none quite the same. But on one sure thing, they would all agree. The king would not rule them. They would be free. But the king didn't listen and passed a tax on tea. The colonists said, we won't pay a fee. They jumped on the ships and caused a real commotion. Then they threw the English tea right into the ocean. All men are created equal, the people did say. We have rights from God that can't be taken away. Together in Philadelphia, our founding fathers in attendance, the colonies declared, we must have independence. That independence was not so easily won. It would take years of fighting, and fighting's not fun. But there was a great man who helped lead the way, George Washington, the father of our country, we say. Across the Delaware, he led the troops in freezing rain and snow. Throughout the revolution, much bravery did he show. After winning the war, Washington would not become a king. He became our first president, and that's a better thing. Ellis found another book with more presidents reflected, all chosen by the people, every one of them selected. Abraham Lincoln was a president who did a lot of reading to be well prepared for the country he'd be leading. Ellis learned that Lincoln was called Honest Abe. He became a great hero for freeing the slaves. Throughout the Civil War, President Lincoln stood tall. His leadership was admired by one and by all. Ellis read of cowboys going west across the plains as families rode together in covered wagon trains. This long journey would put their courage to the test, but the settlers did not stop and forward on they pressed. These Americans were known as the great pioneers and they would learn to prosper on the new frontier. Ellis learned that in America we are free to live our dreams. With much work we do great things as hard as they may seem. Thomas Edison made the light bulb, Alexander Graham Bell made the phone. When the Wright brothers invented the airplane, it was the first time anyone had flown. Ellis read of these coming from distant shores, arriving in a country they had never seen before. Speaking different languages, they all shared a dream. We lived together in a land where freedom was supreme. There were so many people coming to this spot that America became known as the greatest melting pot. Through Ellis Island, these new Americans came, and Ellis was delighted just to read his name. Ellis read about on about generations past. He learned what they did to make freedom last. Our, our freedom was earned by great women and men. We must never forget how brave they have been. They boldly stood up when the country did call. Without them, we might not have freedom at all. Ellis, Ellis learned of the race to put a man on the moon. President Kennedy said, we must do it soon. Many watched as the rocket flew into the sky. Bound for the moon, the astronauts did fly. They raised a flag and began to explore. It was something that no one had done before. 
As the afternoon passed, Ellis read of the deeds that many have done to help those in need. Whenever there's a challenge, be it far or near, Americans are more than ready to volunteer. Ellis packed up his trunk. He was done for the day. He would come back tomorrow and keep reading away. Now it was time for a celebration, a birthday party for our great nation. Ellis watched the fireworks and could clearly see that America is special, the land of the free.